I'm only gonna keep uh, this card here. I don't like Farseer, it's too weak to weapons. If anything, I need to go for like Shredders. With two Shredders, it's like, it's, it's best, it's basically the best card against Warrior. Because this is the only minion that doesn't really die to a weapon, so. I'm not playing, I'm playing any three three drop next turn, I think, so I'm just gonna attack here. Even if he plays Act I can just remake my dagger and deadly poison. Let the pain speak to me. Here we go. Alright, so I picked up like a really good minion. Let's see, I can actually do something really good here. This will allow me to stagger minions, like multiple minions in the same turn to play around weapons. I can play Shredder, and if he just death bites it, it doesn't technically die. Like, I still have a minion. And then on turn 5, I can play both of my uh, three drops. Okay, so it is Patron War. An easy attack here. I don't really like taking more damage, but probably like the last weapon damage I'm going to take this game. Probably not going to attack any more of his minions with weapons. It's really just like the early game you do that. Oh, maybe I should have actually saved Blade Flurry like that for the Blade Flurry. Because if he has Inner Rage here and he attack, he can have like up to four patrons. That would be hard, but if I didn't do that, let's see, I leave up a 3-3, three, three, that'd be really weird. Um, otherwise... And no, there's no other good way for me to remove it. I can backstab a side of that, but... It's not like four full health patrons, like, they would actually be kind of weak. I think I could still kill them somehow. This guy's toast. It's really bad to sap, sap something like that. Because it's such a good combo card, the Unstable Ghoul. I like just killing it. Unfortunately, like, these backstabs are kind of useless. Because you can never backstab Grim Patron, I think. And, like, it's I've already gone through the early turns where there's other minions to backstab. Maybe I can try to use them on the Grim Patron after I get spell power. Oh, that's a good backstab target. Hey, lights out. I do get to cash in like my two attack minion before patron. This isn't even the patron turn anyways. Uh, I would like to keep it up, but mostly I'm looking for um, like a Tinker Oil right now, which which would be perfect. Or Deadly Poison. Tinker Oil is much better though. Sprint would be really nice as well. <laughs> Dr. Boom. Sprint not a big deal. I have like, what, 10 power on board already? So this Dr. Boom is not going to do almost anything here. Prep. Sprint and that's a lot of damage I have. Ha, this guy's toast. Hey, lights out. I guess it's fine because this way I get to play another minion. So like my board doesn't turn any weaker than if I just sapped the Docker Boom. I would I was never gonna eviscerate him, like no way. It doesn't make sense to eviscerate him when um when he's this low as a patron war. So sap would have been alright because it's just too slow to play him again, but this sets up my board stronger anyways. I get to have that side here. Oh wow, hopefully I don't die in this turn. Okay, at least they didn't go face. All 
All right, so I can do 10 here. Let's see, 11. It looks like I'm gonna have to uh, to clear this board somehow. I got the cycle fan with this play. I guess I have enough damage in my hand. It's just like I don't think I have the turns. Like I can't kill in one turn. I think fourteen. I need to think about this for a second because I don't have a weapon. So I have seven mana next turn. I can play five, seven, but I need to do something that involves like a tinker roll. I believe so. I guess if my blood mage survives, maybe. Otherwise, I don't think I'm gonna be able to kill him. Okay, so I know like one of his cards is the Frothing Berserker right now. This should be an easy AoE, I guess. Oh crap, I wonder if I could kill him with that. So I doubt a Grom next turn. I can make a 6 attack weapon here, Flurry, that would be 12 damage. And then 16. Um, it only works if I can play everything. Actually, I can um, flurry, eviscerate, eviscerate. That's still 12. I don't think I can kill him here. If I had like one more mana, I could have got him. I wonder if it was actually better for me to use um, Deadly Poison. Wait, wait, no, I'm not, not unless I get the hit on him. I don't think I can win anymore. Ooh. I thought I was like running out of damage. <laughs> that was like, I think one of the only things, because I used both of his rates, I didn't think I could. I guess it was either that or the last Tinker Oil. Ooh, this is a really good hand now. I guess I knew I could kill him if I could play all my spells. Just wasn't sure if I could. Let's not make this too complicated. I could like attack here on turn two, like go face. That way I can like remake a dagger and deadly poison and get one more damage. I'm, I'm not sure though. It seems like I'm just gonna leave my options open because he might like buff his guy. Um, I might want to save the deadly poison until turn four for the combo of SI. Although this is pretty right, so it's not like that SI has a lot of targets to snipe perfectly. Alright, I guess I'm just gonna sap that. Still kind of leaving my options open. I could have probably played Deadly Poison and then played Vlad Teacher, but. It gives me a chance to combo it if I really want to. Pay attention, class. This works out for me. Unless he has a second villain's chosen. I'm gonna double- like, I don't want to use one deadly poison here, I want to use both. Because this thing has a lot of health, so I'm gonna want to double deadly this into like a 5 health dagger. This will allow me one shot with the Vi Teacher, um, and get some dudes. Play a 3 drop after, which should be good. It really depends what he does here. I think that's still enough. Like, I can still Is someone injured? kill it in one turn. It's good. In fact, I can kill everything here. Five. Actually, I'm not sure if I can kill everything. Five, eight. With the with the SI, I get to kill. Ah, this guy's toast. Job done. 
god. Oh, that's a pretty good one. Doesn't have light bomb mana yet. Oh, this is good. If I can um not get cleared this turn, I can load that the light bomb next turn. But if you holy novas, I guess I still have a Drake left over after Holy Nova, so. This should still be a Lothab turn. I have too much left over, I think. Thing is, I really... Actually, I don't have to clear. Okay, so yeah, let's do that. Just clear this guy and go face. I was saying I don't want, really want to use this weapon on the Zombie Chow. I feel okay leaving up the Zombie Chow in this situation, though. It's Lothab, so like, it's not even easy for me to buff this up with Velen's Chosen. Can't really Light Bomb. It's not really threatening any of my guys. It's not really. Masa Koi, thanks for subbing. Welcome to the Strife Crew. Crofist. The damned stand ready. Oh, no blade flurry. Okay, I guess I can kill everything here. So this one does least amount of damage. So I want to use my weapon to kill it. Wait, do I even want to use my weapon? No, I, I don't really even want to use some weapon, so I'll eviscerate this, just trade both. Um, this one into here to one. Wait, what's better? Three. Three is better. Or one. Uh, got a photo from the Brawler. Hey, Strife Crow. Been following your YouTube channel for a while. It's been a huge help for me to get better. How solid of a deck is Mech Mage and what's the counter for it? Hmm. My eyes are open. Um, I think Mech Mage is pretty solid. I guess the always the counter Mech Mage has been like Zoo, Face Hunter kind of things. Maybe kind of Handlock as well, but. I've been seeing like more mech mages on the top of the ladder recently. Like they've been popping up again over tempo mage a decent amount. I would say it's like definitely a deck to consider. I mean I've seen like a lot of top 50 legends playing mech mage so it does seem like the counter is zoo mostly. I dream and the world uh oh. I might be able to kill this actually, because I have uh, the combo here, I can Blade Flurry this down. Let's maybe sprint next turn. So, let's see, oil... Actually, I should not do that. I should just leave up Ysera one turn. Ooh, nice. I don't think I need this prep because I have like even though I have Tinker Roll, I still have ten mana. Um, I do want to develop like one more minion against the replay, you Sarah. It just like it helps so much to have two minions here instead of three. And I still want to stagger this Tinker Roll um, Blade Flurry against more minions. So I still don't like just killing one Sarah with it. I'm like kind of all in against this deck because he's got a late game and has you Sarah back in his hand I need a way to proc combo um, so I can eviscerate it or I could go all in it might seem it might be better to all in this and just AoE it down My only way to proc the combo without playing creature is like to play Tinker Oil then Eviscerate. Uh, that would clear it, but I wouldn't get a buff. Like, I wouldn't get the combo of Tinker Oil. I think this is okay. It's a 5-7. It's not easy for my suicide. I might be able to kill him uh, maybe in like one or two turns with this combo. I know he has a Ysera, but that, the Ysera is not that great right now. And he's already used his dream card, so. Let me change 
Yeah, this is fine. Like, I get more minions to AoE down. So, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, um, 13, plus 6. 13 plus 6 is 19. Hmm. And then the flurry, 23. I think I'm off by just a weeny bit. I need to just go for it anyways. I need a blade flurry anyway, so... Now I'm gonna steal that. Here we go. Death does not scare me. I might have to just try to kill him through the death orb. Okay, so if I prep oil flurry, I can do four and then. Okay, so um, just wait one turn. I can't kill him this turn, but I will deal 10 damage next turn. So I gotta hope he doesn't have healing. Oh, nice. That was my last chance. I was like out of cards. I wasn't... This is my last damage, actually, so I barely won here. Not messing up the math here, right? I needed the spell damage to get through, so... I greet you. The pleasure is mine. I don't like Shredder that much against, like, Warlock. I mean, it's really good against... Dragon Warlocks in Handlock, it's just bad against Zoo. Because Shredder being like a 4 3, it's it's actually maybe even worse than Yeti, like a 4 5 against Zoo, since they can trade Flame Imp and stuff for it. Looks like I got pretty lucky though. That it's not. Wait, I have a good hand against Zoo. I don't know why I said that. I, I guess it doesn't really matter. I, I have a good hand against like everything. I mostly kept the anti zoo hand though with like fan and deadly poison, but. Looks like this is definitely handlock. So he can play a giant next turn. Or Drake. I can do 3 7 damage here. Oh, nice implosion. I can attack both of those, but I don't think I'm gonna save my prep here, or for, like, I'm just gonna prep fan anyways. After drawing second fan for sure, I would have thought about it a lot more if I didn't draw the second fan here. Because, like, there might be implosion number two, but it's actually a pretty good draw. Like, I need cycle cards and it gives me more value for my spells. And this means I'm not going to play around Mold Giants for sure. I'm just going to all in him. Well, I mean, I'm going to kill his minions, but... Tap. Doesn't seem like there's a good thing you can do with this mana with Dragon Warlock and Malagos. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I 
shall do as you say. Shall do as you say. I like trading more here because AoE and also because of Blade Flare and Tinker Oil. I do want to keep a two charge Wicked Knife. Um, I'm just playing a Deadly Poison and make a dude like Violet Apprentice. I mean, he, I hope I, he doesn't have like double ooze or ooze and Harrison or something like that, but. At this point, I'm attacking. I don't even need to draw to Tinker Roll or like us or anything like that. I can just kill him uh, with the weapon. I have like lethal on board, probably. Let's see, five, seven, ten, eleven, fourteen. So. He did play Emperor though. Um, I don't have to be worried about like Malikos combos, not not even close. But I just have to be worried about AOE mostly. So like Shadow Flame is easy for him now, or Hellfire, kind of. Biohazard Complex. Thanks for subbing. Welcome to the Strife Crew. Crocus. Pretty unlucky. <laughs> He's gotten two rolls of twos, like twos on both. I had fan for both of them though, but. Still helps to roll higher. I'm not gonna prep fan. I can prep like sprint or whatever if I draw it. I shall do as you say. I shall do as you say. It actually doesn't make sense to attack. I, shall do as you say. I give him one more damage. Actually, whatever, let's attack. Because I get one more damage in next turn. But if I draw Blade Flurry, it's worse. But then if I draw Tinker Oil, it's better. Like, way better. I'd say if you're good enough to get the Legend with Blood Mage, you're probably good enough to get Legend with Cabal Geomancer. If you're not good enough to get Legend with Blood Mage, you're like... It's not going to be the difference, probably. The difference is so small. I wield the power. Six, seven, eight, nine. This should kill him. Almost no way he doesn't die here. Why not draw a Blood Mage? It's because I had no more mana that, that turn. If I had more mana, I could like just cycle the Blood Mage to draw. But if I want to, I can always just trade off Blood Mage next turn to draw. And it's still threatening spell power over the 1-1. One, one. Like, I spent all my mana the last turn and went down to zero after playing both of them. So if I needed to draw, like, I would have suicided if I needed the cards. One Mulligan for Zoo. It's not really the best backstab, but it allows me to start using my dagger, or otherwise it's just sitting here. Like I don't, I can't just attack the void walker otherwise. If this is you, I'm gonna play some seat deck and tempo. Oh, I had a weapon. Oops, forgot.
I can save my AoE. So like say he attacks this or attacks this, then he's in range of um, Blade Flurry, for example, maybe Fan Knives, depending on what happens. It doesn't make sense for me to like rush to remove the Dread Inferno, I think, here. I mean, I don't want a great move to remove it. So I'd rather just make him play more into AoE. I do want to cycle this Fan Knives, though. Ooh, that's pretty expensive. Wow. Normally people don't do that anymore. I can AoE for four um, Deadly Poison, Blade Flurry, and then Fan for the last damage. I wonder if I should prep Fan here, or save the prep. I guess I should save the prep. So, I should let me Fan first. Just in case I get a prep sprint or something, I still need I still need the prep, and I, will, I was kind of unlikely to need the prep this turn. He's already used both Doom Guards, he's discarded the other Doom Guard. So that's pretty good for me. Like, it's hard for him to actually do face damage to me without a board. If I draw a Tinker Oil, I just win for sure, because um, I prepped Oil too. Easy activator to get it up. Blade Flurry is like dead. Definitely going face here. At this point, I'm like overloaded on mana, so I should just uh, use the knife because I can. Even if I draw oil, I can just remake the dagger and do like oil anyways. So just getting as much damage in as possible. I don't feel like trading. Although it would have been fine trade, trade and kill the one one, but wow, six mana power. Guess he had to do it. <laughs> 